So the background of the company is manufacturing engine components. I started the company in 89 and we had been heavily involved in the racing industry for the first 10 years and then the idea of an aircraft engine came through one of our customers. And uh, we, he told us that Afgas is more and more hard to find and therefore we decided to start a joint project with him. And um, we proposed to use the to leverage the big R&D budgets from the automotive industry and therefore we decided to start with a base engine from the automotive side, a diesel engine. And a diesel engine because this can burn jet fuel. And since 2002 we are uh, EASA certified. The advantage of a jet fuel engine over other engines is first the availability of fuel, second the efficiency, so we can we burn volume-wise about 30% less fuel and the operation is much easier. The engine is full fader controlled, what means the pilot does not have to take care about mixture nor about prop speed. So he has one lever control, same as jet. FADEC is like an automatic transmission in the car. It makes it just simple for the customer, for the operator. And uh, where the operator before needed to have some engine know-how or knowledge uh, about how to run the engine, and there had been a lot of philosophy behind, it is now very simple. You have the same like in a modern fan jet. You have a percentage of thrust, and this makes the operation easy. So we have an automized run-up check where you just have to press a button and uh, you do not have to check magnetos or anything else, nor do you have to uh, monitor any other temperatures or things like this. It's just you put the lever to the front and then you fly it. And I, my, what I have heard several times from, from pilots is that they always had the fear that they have forgotten something. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. The diesel has a much higher compression ratio. This is, in general, the reason why the diesel engine is more efficient and has a qualitative uh, fuel mixture instead of a quantitative fuel mixture. So diesel engines with a diesel working principle are generally more uh, efficient than gasoline engines, and especially direct injected turbo engines are very efficient. Again, a full liquid cooled engine, the advantage is that the noise level is lower through the liquid. The, we, have an, we have segregated oil systems between the gearbox and the engine, which allows us to have a light gearbox because we can use special oil which is designed for these high loads in the gearbox. We have a turbocharger which assures us that we have good power at altitude. And yeah, that's it basically. And what was necessary to, to design this was also the uh, high pressure fuel pump uh, because the loop efficiency of jet fuel is significant lower than the loop efficiency of diesel fuel and therefore this is also our design. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high performance, easy to own and easy to operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. I think in 10 years' time, there will be no 100 low-lit. There will be a replacement fuel which has the same properties. I think personally that it's not a big deal regarding detonation, but it is regarding vapor lock. So it will be definitely a, a boutique product which will be very, very expensive. And I think if the pilots have the opportunity, 
they will switch to the more common fuel because then again the availability is the key driving point and uh, in the US and in Central Europe the availability of FGAS is good everywhere else in the world the, F the availability of FGAS is already poor and this will become worse over the time.